What's going on, guys? It's your boy Sundar Sensei here to educate on everything anime because y'all know I love me some anime. And guys, One Piece is out here dropping bombs on people. They shaking the world up right now. They just dropped their newest chapter, chapter 956. And I, this came from left field. I didn't see this coming. But they dropped a the mega bomb. All the anime One Piece fans, or just anime fans in general, have been are going crazy. It's trending all over Twitter. And we didn't expect this, man. They, 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 they should at least warn us and told us this is going to be this big. But a lot of stuff is going on, so I got to let y'all know what's up. So the first thing I want to start off with is how the seven warlord system is gone. It has been abolished. That's crazy. Now let me let y'all in on this. Let me know, let y'all know what happened. So the kings of Dressrosa and Alabasta were basically pissed off. They were tired of these warlords trying to take over their kingdom, obviously. You know, Crocodile and Dolphamingo both were underhanded and tried to take over the kingdoms. So they was like, listen, we can't let these pirates out here just, you know, living their lives, doing their thing because they're underhanded. They do, they're evil. They're going to try to, you know, benefit any way they can. And even though we thought if we gave them some leeway and let them, you know, just capture other pirates and they wouldn't go to jail, or the Marines were coming after them, they'll chill out. They haven't. They're all trying to do underhanded things like overthrow kingdoms and, you know, Dolph Mingo and his smile helping out big pirates like Kaido, you know. So they was kind of like, nah, we can't do this no more. Now, mind you, there's some warlords that do not deserve this. You know what I'm saying? I'm on the side of Boa Hancock who just be chilling. You know what I'm saying? She just loves Luffy. She be chilling. She don't want no problems. But she's a warlord. Mihawk be chilling. He just trains Zoro, chilling, you know, on his island. He don't be messing with nobody. But he's a warlord. So this whole warlord system has been abolished, and it's shitting in shockwaves, man, because there's going to be repercussions for this action. Now, they think it's a good idea. Me, personally, I see why they did it. I see why, you know, saying the reverie thought that this was the best case of that course of action to get rid of this system. But I think this is the worst case scenario for them. The reason why I say that is because now you have all these very strong pirates. Because warlords are not weak. They can't be warlords if they're weak. You got all these very strong pirates that are back out here doing pirate things. Now they're doing their little thing in the shadows. But I'm talking about if they're getting chased by marines, they can't stay on islands like they were. How is this going to shift the tide to who's going to become the king of the pirates? Is Boy Hancock going to join Star Hat Luffy's crew? Is Mihawk going to join up with Shanks? Is Buggy the Clown going to join up with Shanks? Now, mind you, Buggy is, is a nobody. Let's be honest. Buggy just uses his, he just has really good situations. But he's not really going to you know, push the pendulum either way. But Mihawk definitely can change things. So how is this going to affect the four emperors? We already know Blackbeard wanted to get the One Piece. So he, he was just using that position, position when he could. He wasn't really not going to, you know, he was still a pirate. He just, you know, seen that this was advantageous for him, so he took the job. But what about Edward Wevel, the acclaimed son of Whitebeard? How, who, who is he going to join with, on up with? You know what I'm saying? Is he going to go after the One Piece, or is he, what is his goal? You see what I'm saying? So many things are left unanswered because of this situation. Now it shifts the power system. There's five emperors. How are the five emperors going to be affected? Like I said, I think Boy Hancock's probably going to join with Luffy. She's going to join the Straw Hat crew. But if that's the case, and he's about to get Jinbei, Luffy's crew looking pretty strong right now. So it's, it's, it's interesting, bro. It's interesting. How is this going to affect the King of the Pirates? Like I said, I think Luffy's in the best course situation. 
because I think Boy Hancock's gonna join his crew. I think Jim Bay's gonna join his crew. I think he's in a good situation right now. But how is this gonna shift everything? Because this is not a small feat. These warlords are gonna be out here, whether they're joining up with emperors or you know, putting to put their stake and claim into finding the one piece. We'll see how this whole thing play out. And the other thing I have to talk about. What happened to Sabo? Now listen, One Piece, do not play with me, all right? I already dealt with Ace dying. So do not play with me. I'm on edge. I'm definitely on edge. They did not explain what happened to Sabo. But the reaction from the characters, Dragon, and the Revolutionary Army, it does not look good. It looks like either he got captured or he's dead. Do not play me, One Piece. I will not stand for another one of Luffy's brothers to pass away. All right? I'm not, I'm not for it. Please don't do this. Because I like Sabo. He got Ace's powers. It was hard for me to get over the Ace situation. It was hard for me to get over the Ace situation. And now we get affinity towards Sabo. Sabo came back to life. Everybody was happy. Oh, man, Sabo's back. And now you pull this? Sabo better be safe, guys. He, he better be safe. Because I if he's not, I'm going to be pissed. I'm going to hear a whole different tone in the next you know, video if Sabo was not good. But he did take a big risk. What they were trying to do was a big risk. They, they, they were trying to flex a little bit. I understand they wanted Bartholomew Kumo back, but the way they did it was was a big flex, like I said. But I got to find out what happened to Sabo, man. Hopefully, you know, he's probably just... I don't want him to be captured, but it seems like he might... I think he's captured. I don't think he's dead. I think he's captured. But the problem is, is... I don't want Luffy to go back and have to try to fight the Marines again to try to get another brother back. I don't, I don't want that. So I want to see how that whole thing plays out. But it is interesting because let's say he is captured. Now Luffy's going to be teaming up with his dad to go get his brother back. That would be dope. That would be dope. But again, I can't, I can't, I don't think my heart could take another. Uh, you know, one, let one of Luffy's brothers dying, man. I don't know, man. That, that, that's a tough pill to swallow. Obviously, I love One Piece, but, man, that would suck. All right. But, um, like I said, Savo, hopefully he's all right. I think he's got, I think he's captured. I think he's captured. Or maybe this is just a scheme. Because this, this we got to remember, Savo's smart. Maybe he got caught intentionally to sway something or to let somebody escape or this is part of a bigger plan that he was concocting because Sabo, like I said, he's a very smart guy. He's not, I mean, Ace was smart also, but Ace was a hothead. Sabo's not so much a hothead like that. Sabo's more calculated. So maybe this is all part of Sabo's plot. Maybe it's part of his ploy. Who knows? But from what it looks like, man, it seems like Sabo's caught. It seems like Sabo's either caught or dead. And they deliberately did not specify <laughs> so they can have us speculating like this but man I just hope I can't deal with another one man I, I just hope he's alive bro I hope he's alive and I hope he gets out of this situation because I don't think my heart can take another one like I said that man I don't think it could take another one of Luffy's brothers dying man I can't I can't take Luffy holding a corpse anymore man and in other news how many of the worst generation are actually on men that's my question. Because you see X Drake is working with the Marines. You see Hawkins is, is was working with Kaido. I mean, the only people who really seemed like they were, you know, for their own cause is Luffy, Captain Kidd, and Trafalgar Law. The rest of these guys, man, they all, you know, Benji's working for Big Mom. All these, like, it's like, what happened to y'all? Y'all supposed to be the worst generation. Y'all supposed to be the guys that were going to be the new you know, leaders of the pack. And all these dudes are falling in line under somebody else or working with the Marines. It's crazy to me, man. But that just goes to show who the real guy is, who the real ones is. Y'all already know. 
It's Luffy, Captain Kidd, and Trafalgar Law. The rest of them were just poses, man. They were just, they were just, they looked good, but all of them were, were like plants. You know what I'm saying? They, they were planted there, either by the Marines or another pirate. They weren't really out to get the One Piece. Luffy, Captain Kidd, and Trafalgar Law are the real ones. And I think Trafalgar Law are just, you know, wants to get rid of Kaido. I think, you know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't think his real ambition is the One Piece. So, that's like one or two people total that actually wants to get the One Piece. Whereas everybody else was either planted by somebody or has other ambitions. And that's just, that's crazy to me. It's absolutely crazy. The worst generation basically isn't the worst generation because all of them were planted there. Class is dismissed. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share with all cool things like Facebook and Reddit and Instagram and Twitter and Rumble.com and wherever else. And guys, get in the comment section, man. Let me know how you think this is going to affect the, the One Piece world, man. The One Piece universe. How is it going to affect it? Because the warlords being able to run amok, I think it's going to shift the whole structure of One Piece. I think Luffy's going to get a lot more stronger because of Boy Hancock and Jinbei. And I think by letting those pirates free to do what they so choose, you know, before, like, I mean, being a warlord shocking them a little bit, but, I mean, now they're just going to have free reign to be pirates again. How do you think that's going to affect the One Piece universe? Make sure you share with y'all cool things, you know what I'm saying? Share with all your anime fans. You're my One Piece related. You already know what it is. Check out the special account on the Patreon page. Both those links are in the description below. And uh, thank y'all for rocking with the boy. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace. Thank you.